our house has always been a playground. It's not a boring house, you know. <laughs> Lucy's friends that walk in the house and they're a little bit like, OK, wow. Lucy! You can almost see them texting their parents or speaking to their parents saying, well, Lucy's got this. If I'm at school, then, <laughs> yeah, I want to get home <laughs> and, you know, come climbing. Yeah, people outside definitely don't have a clue what's on <laughs> going on the inside. It is a bit of a climbing wonderland. I live with my wife, uh, Natalie, and I've got two children, Jack and Lucy. So Lucy's 15, nearly 16. No, I'm going to have to start again. Sorry there, I've got a date totally wrong there. She's going to be killing me upstairs. I never want to grow up. And I think that's shown in the house. You know, it is one big playground from literally room to room, top to bottom, even the attic. <laughs> Me and Paul are not grown-ups. No, no, we're still waiting for that day to come. Um, one day it might happen, but I'm not sure when. <laughs> Hopefully never, yeah. It's never been a show home. The living room is to play football in, the banisters are for climbing, the stairs are for sliding. So it's always been about fun. Lucy used to have a little challenge where she would get from the front door to her bedroom without touching the floor, um, which involved holding on to the banisters, and she broke one. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get up there first, that's my problem. Then that's how it sort of come out. Why don't you put some climbing holes on the wall, because that would be quite fun. And good way to help her get up the stairs in different ways. And then it sort of just went from there. Me and Lucy are wanting to do more in the living room. We would quite like some monkey bar type things on the ceiling. Well, we've just got to get past my dad. I did say from one that I didn't want it encroaching into my front room. But Paul, for some reason, is saying no. Well, I tried to say that was my only room in the house. Anyone that's got a daughter knows that, as a dad, you are wrapped around their little finger from day one. I feel so lucky that my house has helped me get to where I am now and, you know, all the stuff I can use to train and that other people might not have the opportunity to, so that's really cool. Oh, it feels amazing. When I climb, I can't hear anything. It's just like you and the wall. You know, to find something where, no matter what's going on, you know, if I've got a bad day at school, you know, you can go climbing. I'm going to set you one really hard challenge now. 30 seconds, you've got to hold that. We make it all fun, like no matter what the training is, because I think if you're not if you're not enjoying the process to where your goal is, it's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> We've lived here for 20 years. Um, as soon as I saw the picture of the outside of the house, I knew that this was the house for us. Saving up, it was a real tricky time, and we saved every penny um, because this is what we wanted. We had gone shopping, I come home and I dropped a bottle of olive oil and it smashed. So I went to the shops and bought some more and I cried buying this bottle of olive oil, which seems so silly, but it was every penny counted then. But I think it's, it's good to go through those hard times. It makes you appreciate it now. We're at the other end of it. There was the Euro millions and it was a 15 million pound win. So we did it and Paul was like, oh, what are we going to do? And he said, we can move house. And I was like that. <gasps> I don't want to move house, please don't make me move house. I'm not going to gain anything other, th other than more cleaning. <laughs> it's not a massive house, but it suits us perfectly. Um, we put on an extension about six years ago to give her that extra bits. When we done the extension, it wasn't about making the house more valuable. It was about making the house work for us. Got a very small mortgage. Um, and so we really enjoy life. We get to maximise our spend elsewhere. We can really help Lucy with her dreams of getting to the world stage. I reckon up and down the country, what we've done to our house, there's probably 0.0000001% of people that's going to think this is perfect, but it's perfect for us. So just, I suppose, look at what you want from your house, you know, what you want it to be now, what you want it to be maybe a two or three years, and then stick to that. Doesn't matter if people come round and say, oh, why don't you do this, why don't you do that? Stick to your guns, do what you want. It's your, it's your house, you own it. Do what you want in it. <laughs>